Hi everyone, Justin Pate from the RAP Institute and we're at Solar Screen headquarters and we're joined with Steven. Steven, what is your role at Solar Screen? Sales director. Nice, cool. And you've actually been with the company for quite some time. Ever. <laughs> His father started the company in 1994, 1984. And then you took over the company when? Or you became part of the company? Alongside with the Halkopa group, yeah. Nice. Michael. Very cool, very cool. And in this video, what I want to talk about are window films. And window films for me are super exciting. And we've been here for three days now. And you've really opened my eyes to the, like what window films are. Because for the longest, for me, I kind of associated window films with just tint. But they're much more than that. So in this video, we're really going to go deep on your catalog, which is the widest range catalog in the world for window films. Please, yes. So for me, it's super fascinating. So if you don't know much about window films, this is going to be a good one. And if you already do a lot of window films, I think it's really going to open your eyes to maybe different options that you can do in terms of making extra money, which is awesome. So first and foremost, what is, you know, in terms of window films, you guys have broken it up into six categories. Is that correct? Is a yeah. You've got them there. Okay. And the, the categories, you know, primarily are, you know, what are they? So right now you have, uh, if I'm looking at the catalogs, and again, it's so nice our, to bring our best sellers are here. So solar control, it's nothing about cars, but rather buildings, so offices, residentials. Okay, and solar is mainly for blocking heat. So that's just yeah, that's a prime yeah. function. We do a little side with anti UV, but mainly it's about heat. And that's generally for let's say offices. Is it residential as well, or just primarily offices? It's both of them. The main market is focused on yeah buildings because it's bigger because you've got air conditioning. So yeah, got it, got it. And so that's also to help with maybe workflow, kind of breaking the light in this place so you can work in computers. But mainly it's primarily energy savings for companies. So if they tint the windows on the outside, they save money. Cool. And the next segment we got for me is safety. Yeah. And safety for, you know, which is, you know, a lot of people might not know of C safety film because safety film for the most part is just clear. The safety film is very, very important for, let's say, schools, governments. So what's the story about safety film, which is interesting? Let's say that uh, you can split it up in two sections. Mm -hmm. So you've got the sections you just want to be sure. So let's uh, forget about the risk or something. Fit them with a the film. And the other side, you've got the officials, uh, government, mm. embassies. Right. So they just want to prevent attacks or bomb blasts. So you're going to use the thicker ones. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that sounds kind of morbid and dark, but for me, I mean, safety film comes really important again for schools, governments. Yeah. Safety film is thicker though. It's a different type of film, but again, flat glass installs for the most part, straightforward. And the next segment, obviously, and this is one of your passions is uh, automotive. Yeah, exactly. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> We, we have a real nice uh, range here. We've got everything. So we've got NR single ply, NR two plies, uh, HP, the same things. But I'm going to extend more about the Beluga. Beluga is the latest uh, new film from Thor screen range. Uh, it's about nano ceramic. Uh, this is the future actually, because we are more and more fighting against manufacturers uh, building and then bring on market cars that have already the tinted mm. windows. Yeah. So to fight that, you need some Something better than the past ones like NR HP films. So that's why we developed the nano ceramic Beluga films. Mm. Thanks to that film, you can really add values versus the original ones. Nice. And actually, you know, one of the things that I like about it is, you know, for me, what I've known about window films for years is the darker the film, the better protection. But now with the ceramic coating, you can actually have just as good a protection with a clear film yeah. as a dark film. So that it really yeah. opens the doors, which is awesome stuff. Um, so automotive film, again, great big market for that. And that's obviously people, mainly private companies. Companies. Not a lot of commercial companies doing that. Uh, yeah, mainly private. Yeah, mainly private. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And the next one for me is really interesting is design. And this is something that, you know, I didn't really associate PET films, which is polyester, with design, but you guys actually have quite a few design films. Correct. So if you want to do it easy, just choose the one you want and the pattern's ready, you just need to install the film. Uh, many companies does not necessarily have a, a software to create patterns or the time just to do mock-ups and things. So you just get the catalog, the sample book, and just choose the one you want. It's there on the shelf. Nice, so again, you know, a lot of people sometimes put, let's say, frosted film in, they have to do the, you know, they put it in a plotter, then they pre-mask and do this stuff. You guys have a straightforward process with That's that. That's it. You choose the design, but again, the PET thing, the optical clarity, which is really nice, it has a different level than, let's say, PVC film. Yeah, yeah, not to mention the ecological point. Absolutely, you know, because again, PVC film, not necessarily great for the environment, PET is a little better. And then we have printing. And this is something even before coming here just three days ago, I didn't know that you could actually print on PET film, but you guys actually have a solution for that. Really cool. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, people now are more focused on yeah being green, so mm. the go green things. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, uh, yeah, everyone knows that PVCs are not the best ones. Uh, I wouldn't say the PVCs are either better, but a bit. So for this, uh, people now are aiming to print on PVCs and. From our old past and old relationship with all these PET manufacturers, we yeah. could be able to develop quite fast and good PETs to be printed. So we've got actually two versions, one's for UV ink and the other one is for any kind of ink. Very cool. They work perfect. Awesome. You know, again, that's really interesting. And you have uh, showed me a sample earlier of kind of like a pattern that goes from like kind of like whitish, then it kind of fades to clear at the top. Yeah, white gradation is very trendy. And very trendy right now because there's a lot of offices like the light coming in from the top, but they want the privacy at the bottom. But having that ability to print on it, especially with the UV and the scratch resistance of it, really yeah. cool stuff. Yeah. And the last one, again, super, for me, very fascinating. And this is where the uh, technology today, as we all know, is going super fast. You guys have advanced film as well. Yeah, exactly. So we've got this uh, swatch. Uh, I, I like to call it like the bundle things because it's everything. Well, it's not just solar or safety or design or automotive. It's a mix of, let's say, the latest innovative films uh, that we have uh, been offered from different suppliers. So in right. it, you've got uh, the famous Data Jammer. Data Jammer provides you uh, screen privacy, so mm. uh, data protections. You know, it's more and more uh, being requested in offices or banks. Absolutely. Uh, then you've got the famous far, smart film, so we call it e-film. Mm. Uh, it's available in white, grey and black. Uh, it's perfect in terms of clarity. Uh, it's also provided with uh, electrical devices, great thing, so that uh, and that's innovative. Yeah, and that's basically one, if you don't know what that particular film is, and again, for me, it's becoming more and more popular, is the window looks clear, and then you have a, a switch, yeah. and all of a sudden the window goes opaque, which is awesome. So it has the best of both worlds. It's, it's actually reverse, so it's opaque, and then under electric switch, it goes clear. Ah, okay. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. So again, great, uh, so then wide variety of options. So again, flat glass, again, is not just tin, as you can see wide variety of options and again for me again PET I always thought was just kind of limited in the sense that it was flat you know just for windows and it is just for windows but now all the other technology is coming in with the ceramic coating with the technologies in terms of data protection really amazing stuff so for me if you've been doing let's say car wrapping or commercial wraps or P PPF for example this is a really good option to get into and why I love sure. flat glass windows for the most part is easy I mean cars you have to shrink a little bit but for the most part Flat, easy, straightforward, awesome stuff. Scrappers, squeegees, and just go. Awesome, very cool. So again, this has been an awesome overview of window films and all the possibilities. And again, big thank you, Stephen, for letting us film here. Awesome stuff. Pleasure. So I hope this opens your eyes to a lot of different revenue possibilities and super exciting. So thank you so much. Appreciate it.